today on Divorce Court. Jonathan lies all the time over big things, little things, everything. When Aaliyah nags me, I feel angry and I can't control my anger sometimes. I know Jonathan thinks I'm an ag, but I really don't think I'm an ag. I'm just trying to help him out and help my family. I feel that Aaliyah should stop tripping on me and to give me more space. If Jonathan doesn't stop cheating, I feel like it's gonna be the end of our relationship. Divorce court is now in session. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. I'm here today with Aaliyah Mechanich and Jonathan Reyes. Both of you are 22. You have two children together. You've been together for six years. I mean, forever. I mean, your, your entire post-adolescent life. Ms. McCannig, you say you're in trouble. Tell me what's going on. John and I met when I was a cheerleader and he was a football player. And we were very young, but right away, there was cheating involved. And I never cheated. He always, he had cheated right away. So, you know, we just, we stopped dating, seeing each other, and we were kind of like always on and off. I was like always, you know, kind of run back to him, and he never like wanted to keep me as like a real girlfriend, though, just kind of keep me around but not commit to me. So when I was 17, I got pregnant with our son, and, you know, it didn't happen. It wasn't planned, but it happened, and from there, you know, we tried to... Make it work. Make a committed relationship, yes, but... That was still very tough, but um, we tried, and here we are now. We have two kids. You and have kids. You're living together. Yes. But things aren't good, I take it? Not really. He just recently cheated last year. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so it's really I, hard for me yeah. right now. I got to say this. 17, you know? Dude cheats on you. You bounce. Period. End of story. Because what that is is dating is an opportunity to see what somebody's going to be like. And if he's doing things that you don't like, you put a period on it and you move on to something else. You don't keep hanging around till you get pregnant. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, you just... Hello, Mr. Reyes. Hello, how you doing? I'm doing all right. How you doing? I'm doing good. I understand that you not only are taking care of both children that you have, but you're also taking care of your 15-year-old sister. Yeah, I am. I applaud you for that at <laughs> 22. That's a lot. <laughs> I was ludicrous when I was 22. And, I mean, I wouldn't have been able to do any of that. Mr. Reyes, were you alarmed when she got pregnant? I was. I was nervous. Um, a lot had to do with, uh, like, race. Like, me being Mexican, mm -hmm. a Mexican family. It was hard for me to bring her around, but I always had that, like, special bond with her. Right. So your family was not pleased, well, not in addition to the fact that you were young and pregnant. Yeah. Not you weren't young and pregnant. She was young and pregnant, but that she was black as well. Mm -hmm. That that was an added issue. Is that it, true? It wasn't his mother. It was like the outside family the that outside he was worried family, about. Yeah, cool his it. mother always took me in. Like she took me in right away. Mm -hmm. She's deceased now mm -hmm. at the mm -hmm. moment. But wow. so is my mom. Wow. I think that has a lot to do with yeah, why we're here today. You guys got nobody to talk to. You I know you have no guidance. You don't yeah. have any any authority figure. Now I know why you're here. That yeah that I, that has a lot to do with why we're here today. I feel. You know what, Miss Reyes, I can't get mad at you for not being ready. You know I can get mad at you for not wearing a condom, <laughs> and I can get mad at you for not making him, yeah. or I can get mad at you for not using some other kind of birth control. Yeah. But I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> I'm just letting you know I could. <laughs> <laughs> but at 17 and 18, guys aren't usually ready to settle down. So yes, I can't uh, get mad at you about the fact that you weren't ready. Did you talk to her about how not ready you were? I mean, I, I'm saying you have to step up and handle it. Well, yeah, but... so um, <clears throat> that time we were in high school, uh, I was kind of going to, it was 11th grade when she kind of told me that she was pregnant. And um, I got nervous, uh, 
I was excited in a way, but just, you know, breaking it down to my mom and my family, they, they judge men a lot. They judge a lot. What's the problem now? Just being irresponsible. He, well, he cheated last year, so that's mm -hmm. still affecting me now because I feel like now is more serious than it was when we were in high school. Now we're older, we have two children, we live together, so that is a big, big issue deal. right now with me. Yeah, but there's also, he just recently lost his job and he's wrecked our car and it's like, that's all we have. We don't have help, so that's a, those are just, a huge few things, things. You're, but they're huge. You're out there flapping in the wind. You got two kids, and yeah. he's over there wrecking cars. Don't doesn't have so a it's job. A lot of not doing the right thing, Mr. Reyes. Are you as irresponsible as she described? I can be, but you know I have a lot on my shoulders, and I try to be the best man I can. How often have you cheated on her? Just, just I just say. cheated on her once. Uh, oh, that can't be true. Come on. How often did you cheat on her? Uh. In Go high ahead school, and just say it. We're <laughs> no. Here. Well, honestly, it was just one time, with like us having two kids already, and that was the most recent time. Yeah, but 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 you while you were I, living, you've been living together five years, doing those five years. How often have you cheated? Just like twice. He's tried cheating more, actually. Yeah. So I would, you know, I cheated on her once, and then she has friends that I try to get at, bef um, before. Well, we've. <laughs> Like so you, you're predisposed to doing this. You're all right with it. I mean, it. No, uh, I mean it happened, but I wasn't. You know, I shouldn't have done that, and I wouldn't do that now. But. So have you stopped cheating altogether? Yeah, I stopped cheating. So it's been a, a year since you've you've tried to get yeah. at anybody. A full year. It has. Do you want to be in a committed relationship? Yeah, I do. I you really, do? I really love her. You know, but. It's just right now, like, just a lot of disagreements. And she's always bringing my past up about cheating and her not trusting me. Well, let's figure out something we can do other than argue all the time. Yeah. I feel like the man should be the household. The head of the household. Head of the household. What do you think that job entails? Well, OK, well, I think she should be the head of the household. <laughs> <laughs> Ms. Mechanics, why don't you tell me what it's like in your household? It's pretty hectic right now. We just recently got our car out of the shop. It was in there for four months. So we were renting cars and with money that we don't have, we are calling everybody for asking for help. So that's- Do you work? I just got a job after he lost his job. His, he lost his job. Yeah, so I wasn't are working Are you looking for a job? Yeah, I had two jobs, so I lost one of them. But you which... still have another one? Yeah. Okay, go ahead, Ms. McCann. But that job wasn't really cutting it. That yeah. job is just was like a little side yeah. type of thing. So you, are you arguing all the time? Every day. And what are the topics about which you argue? I'm always bringing up the past because I'm still hurt behind it, and I don't know if it's going to change. The hurt that you felt by the things that he did to you do you think they play a role in the level of anger you have about all the other issues? I don't know. Maybe that could be it. I don't know. I've just, he's done a lot. He... I, 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 I want you, you're working from a position of fear. You got two kids. You're with a guy that you're really not sure of. He's cheated on you a lot. He messes up the car. You're, you're frightened all of the time. So every time he does anything, every time something happens, your cortisone levels and adrenaline are up because you are always on the edge of disaster and every little thing could just send you right over. You know what I'm That's saying? That's exactly what it and, is. And, and you, you're caught in that cycle of being scared all the time and then when you're scared all the time, you start fighting. Mm -hmm. Now, Mr. Reyes, do you start the fights or does she? Or is it a mutual thing? She starts it a lot. You know uh, why she starts it? I just, just said it, so let's see if you were listening. Well, you know the things I've done, I guess? She's scared. But... Underneath it, no, hang on, hang on, hang on. I'm trying to teach you something. Underneath all of that, she's afraid. afraid. She's afra afraid for her basic survival for her and her children. And every time you do something that 
uh, jeopardizes it, you feed that anger. You feed that fear, you feed the anger. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> now, got a question for you. We filled out these, um, uh, you filled out a compatibility test. Just, I just want to get a sense of who you were. You said the husband should be the head of the household. Is that right? Mm. Yeah. No judgment here? Uh, yeah, I feel like the man should be the household. The head of the household. Head of the household. What do you think that job entails? Well, OK, well, I think she should be the head of the household. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I don't mean cooking and cleaning and all that. I mean, who's, who's the leader in the family? Do you, some people say we, it's, it's cold, it's cold leadership. Some guys uh, say, you know, I should be the head of the household. You wrote down you thought you should be head of the household. That was well, you. Yeah, the cooking and all that. I think she should. That you know that's. You Definitely. want her to be the housekeeper, but you want to be yeah. the head of the, you want to be the guy in charge. Yeah, and I am. I want you to take care of her and your kids. And I'm trying to teach you how. I feel like I'm doing it, and I'm trying, and I know all that, but it's just, you know, it was a mistake that happened. You can't lean down to your kids and say, oops, you were a oops baby, so I'm not gonna worry about you. You gotta worry about them. What do you think a guy who's in charge of a family ought to do? My job as a man is <clears throat> just, you know, providing for my family, uh, working, paying the bills. And have you been doing that? I have, but, you know, there's been downfalls. And <clears throat> I'm not perfect, but I try to be. Ms. McCannitch, you feel like you're in charge of the household, don't you? Not only just the duties, but also the major decisions, and you There's... are the person who worries about yeah, how I've... things are gonna go. I've, yeah, I feel like because he was the one that was working and making the money and everything, you know, he felt like he was in charge, but I do feel like I have to think everything through, through. For you him. manage the whole thing. He's walking, he's coming home, I always but he's tell not him thinking. That, but I don't think he understands that. I always try to tell him that, you know, but I don't think he understands that, and I think that's, that's another reason why I'm here, because I think, he would listen if it came from someone else because he thinks I'm just that annoying Ms. girlfriend. Ms. has everything on her plate. You've abandoned your job as head of the household. She's the one that worries about what bills get paid, what are the kids are gonna do, what money goes where, how you're gonna feed people, what's gonna happen. She's had to take care of all of that because you're young and irresponsible. So it's on her shoulders to do that. And what you need to do to be the head of the household is to take that off her shoulders and put them on yours. You have to start making those decisions. Do you see what I'm saying? I, and, I feel like I do, though, and... Um... You don't. I'm telling you, you don't. She's telling you, you don't. She's the one who worries about all that stuff. She's not out wrecking cars. She doesn't <laughs> cheat. She didn't lose a job. She's on the steady and she's wondering every day what you're gonna do. You're not on the steady. You with me? So, Ms. McCannage, what? I think that's another problem, too. I'm sorry. I just, go ahead, go ahead. I, he might be a little upset right now because he feels like everyone takes my side, but I don't think he can notice. He doesn't realize when Something is just really his own issue. You know, I don't think he, I think he just takes it like. It's not a matter of taking sides. Everybody's just got to take on their role. I'm not mad at you. I want you to take care of her and your kids. And I'm trying to teach you how. I feel like I'm doing it and I'm trying and I know all that, but it's just, you know, it was a mistake that happened. You can't lean down to your kids and say, oops, you were a oops baby, so I'm not gonna worry about you. You gotta worry about them. You that's, got, that's you gotta handle That's what we're doing right now, but <laughs> yeah. I don't feel like I should take 100% of like the fault. Like, I'm not, oh, see, you, you don't understand what I'm telling you. I'm not, I'm not blaming you for anything. 
I'm telling you what you need to do to fix this thing. I'm telling you how to get it done. I don't even think you know all the stuff she does to keep the house running and together. I think you should go home and take some of that burden on yourself. That'll make her a happier person and that'll make her argue less. That'll make, which will make you a happier person and let you argue less. Which, you see what I'm saying? Ms. McCannage, are you on birth control? Yes, I am now. That was a hesitant yes. Yeah. Are you lying to you, me? No, honestly, because I, in the past, I wasn't on it. I just recently got on it. I'm not gonna lie. And, and don't get off. I mean, I'm you not... got, I mean, for a long time. Because you guys gotta recover. And you can't recover if you don't, if you keep having babies. You understand that, mm -hmm. don't you? You can't recover. You can turn this thing around. But you gotta decide that you want to. And you gotta decide that you have to change in order for the situation to get better. She needs to feel safer. You gotta remember that every morning. Every morning, I'm the head of the house. And as head of the house, what can I do to make her feel safe? I, I do. And, 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 and let that control your conduct for the day. Also, make sure you understand all of the burdens that she has. Listen to her talk. She's nagging and, and yap, 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 yap for a reason. Because she's afraid and she's got a lot on her shoulders. And if you want to be head of the house, you got to go first with the change of the direction of the household. Wouldn't you say? Yeah. But I feel like, you know, every day I go to work. And I'm telling and, you, that's not enough. No, I know, and um, sometimes I don't get the credit I want. Neither one of you are giving each other credit. That, that's the whole point. You're both under pressure. You're not giving her credit for anything. You're not. Let me say this. I give you mad props, and I did in the beginning for being 22 and sticking in the situation. I give you mad props for that. But all I'm saying is, I want you to be in the situation and happy. And I'm trying to get you to happy. You see what I'm saying? No, oh he's not with me. <laughs> it's gonna be on you. It's gonna be on you. Let me tell you what you need to do. You need to tell him directly what things you need him to do for you. And you gotta sit down and think them out and you have to make direct asks of him. I need you to do A, B, and C because these are the things I'm worried about and make sure that he doesn't. You have to change your attitude. Okay. You have to just step off angry. Yeah, you just, just step off of it. It's a decision that you make every day, every morning. You say, I'm not going to get angry today. Okay. And you work that. <laughs> and when you come to him in a calmer place, he's less likely to behave badly. Yeah. You got it? And when she gives you things to do, you are gonna take care of it and you understand that she's afraid? Yeah, you know, I'm trying to make her happy and... Make her safe. Happy will come in. Both. Let's worry about safe first. And happy will come. You hear what I said? Yes, I All do. All right. <laughs> this matter is adjourned. Thank you. <laughs>